In part A, we're supposed to interpret the y-intercept in context. So looking at the computer output here, we have the slope, that's right here next to customers in line, and we have the constant. So this is the y-intercept, this 72.95. We can interpret this as if no other customers were in line, we expect it to take 72.95 seconds to check out. The tricky part for part B is to figure out which R squared to use. In AP stats, we always use the regular R squared. That's the one right here. So you can just cross out this R squared adjusted. We can interpret this as 73.33% of the variation in customer checkout time can be explained by the number of customers in line. In part C, we're asked to identify an outlier and explain why it is an outlier. So looking at the scatter plot, there's this one point that kind of falls away from the rest of this linear pattern right there. Now we don't want to say that this is an outlier because it doesn't follow the pattern of the rest of the points. We want to actually use context. So in context, this customer had three people ahead of them in line, but they had a really short checkout time. So we can say this point is considered an outlier because this customer had a much shorter checkout time than what we would expect with three customers in front of them. Now if we look at the scatter plot, typically with three customers in line, if we were going to follow this least squares regression line that's been graphed here, we'd expect a checkout time of looks like closer to uh, maybe 600 seconds. So I'm going to add that. It can't hurt. So I'll say our model would predict a checkout time of close to 600 seconds, much more than the observed approximately 50 seconds our outlier had. If you liked my explanation of this problem, you might want to check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's available on Amazon, and it has 100 problems in it, all with YouTube explanations. So this question number one reminds me of two questions from the book. Uh, question 21 and also question 22 in the book. Um, I'll link my video explanations to these two problems in the description so you can check them out. Also, if you're an AP stats teacher or a college statistics teacher and you want a free copy of this book, uh, send me an email.